Well, the state has a new tax. Governor Jay Inslee signed the capital gains tax bill today. It's a law that will likely be decided in the courts or at the ballot box, though. King 5's Drew Mickelson joins us live in Tequila to explain. So, Drew, tell us why this tax is so controversial. Well, the state got sued over it even before the governor signed it into law this afternoon. Critics say it's unnecessary and it's against the law. But those who gather with the governor here today in Tukwila say it's not only legal, it's vital. This bill creates a capital gains excise tax on extraordinary profits. Governor Jay Inslee has not held many public bill signings since the start of the pandemic, but he says the ones he signed today are some of the most significant of his career, especially the bill establishing a capital gains tax in the state. We are finally, finally asking the wealthiest among us to pay their fair share. Under the new law, starting in 2023, anyone who makes more than a quarter of a million dollars on investment earnings would pay taxes on those profits with the funding going to education, mostly to early learning. This is a, a, a tax that's wildly unpopular with the, the, the folks around our state. Republican Senate leader Senator John Braun considers it an income tax, something that's unconstitutional in the state. While it's the law of the land today, Braun expects the tax's future to be decided in court. I think the, the, bet, uh, the wager by the the Democrats and the, and the governor is that they can get a very left-leaning Supreme Court to overrule uh, 80 years of precedent and decide that, you know, income isn't property, which it pretty clearly is if you take time to read our state's constitution. This bill is built on fairness. It's based on justice. It's based on our constitution. I'm very confident it will remain a permanent part of our more just and fair system. The other bill signed into law by the governor today will provide working families, low income families, checks from the state, tax exemptions, tax rebate checks. That is a bill that had support from both Democrats and Republicans. Live in Tukwila tonight, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.